Hey guys, before I start this YouTuber starter kit guide, I would like to show you how to show support to Thunder's amazing channel just by liking and subscribing to his channel. Hi guys, my name is Ryan or Aranias, and to be completely honest, I haven't watched Thunder in a long time. Not because I lost interest, but because my old channel got terminated and I lost all the people that I was subscribed to. I stopped watching a lot of people for that reason, such as Green Goblin HD, for example. I came back to Thunder's channel and I was like, wow, this brings me back to my childhood and, and that I loved watching Thunder's channel a lot. I still do and I'm glad that he's still uploading. I appreciate that so much. I'm so invigorated with the chance to be part of his community channel and everlasting support for him. Thank you for letting me upload and helping out small YouTubers like me. I really appreciate it. And now let's get into the video. So in today's video, as you probably have already seen in the thumbnail, I'm going to show you guys a YouTuber starter kit. You might ask what that might entail. Well, that's what I'm going to show you in this video. This video will show you equipment for people that want to mainly start gaming channels only. I'm going to have Black Ops 2 gameplay in the background on my PC just for the sake of gameplay. So if you want to start YouTube, you're going to need equipment obviously. I'm going to go into detail with what equipment is necessary for a good YouTube channel. First of all, you're going to have to choose what console you want to play on. Depending on your budget, you will either play on an Xbox One, PS4, Wii U, PC, or even Nintendo Switch or in consoles such as that. If you want to start with an Xbox One or PS4 or a console like that, you will have to use a capture card. Either a capture card that puts gameplay on an SD card or a capture card that records directly onto your computer. Capture cards that put gameplay on an SD card requires less expensive computers. So you can go onto avermedia.com and there's an option to choose your console and what type of recording you're planning on doing. I would recommend for people that want to record to an SD card that goes into capture cards, the Live Gamer Portable would be good but it's a little pricey. It's about $150 but records in 1080p 30fps. If you're willing to spend a little more money, then the Live Gamer Portable 2 would be a better option for 60fps gameplay. These capture cards are mainly for people that are on the go and want to record gameplay at people's houses or on the fly. These capture cards do not require beefy computer. A cheap $300 to $500 laptop would be suffice. You can get a desktop as well for the same price that would be good enough depending on your preference. If you want to stay at home and record to your computer, then I would recommend the Extreme Cap U3 uncompressed 1080p 60fps gameplay for $150, the Elgato HD for $110 but 1080p 30fps or the Elgato HD 60 1080p 60fps for $180. You can also get the Razer Ripsaw for $180 60fps 1080p. Every single one of these capture cards are amazing and the Elgato and Avermedia capture cards come with editing software if you don't want to spend money on software such as Sony Vegas or After Effects. Next thing you would want to invest in is a decent PC if you want to record gameplay on a PC. I would recommend $600 being the cheapest you would spend on a PC for good gameplay, 60fps, 1080p. If you get a PC then you won't have to worry about expensive capture cards, you can just get OBS for free to record gameplay. First thing for a PC, you will need a CPU. A cheap and reliable CPU that you can get would be an AMD FX9590 8-core for $130 or an AMD Ryzen 5 1500X for $180 for more of a future-proof CPU with a good build. You also need a decent graphics card such as a GeForce GTX 1050Ti for $150 or a Radeon 460 for $90. Both are excellent. You also need a motherboard, a power supply, hard drive or an SSD solid state drive, RAM and a case or tower to hold everything in. You can go onto the PC Part Picker website and plan out your whole PC by first using one of each CPU and GPU that I have named already. You can look for compatible parts for the CPU and GPU that you have chosen depending on your budget and it will tell you how much everything costs. Next thing you will need is a microphone. You can either use a condenser mic such as the Audio-Technica AT2020 or a USB mic such as the Blue Yeti or Blue Snowball. Condenser mics are more costly because they require audio interface and phantom power usually. The Audio Technica AT2020 costs about $100 plus an audio interface, which the cheapest one is the Behringer Euphoria UM2 for $30 or $45. A Blue Yeti costs about $125 to $150, 
A blue snowball costs about $50, but is more suitable in my opinion for commentating, while a blue Yeti to me is more for recording an instrument. The difference between USB mics and condenser mics is that condenser mics require phantom power and USB mics do not, and USB mics are plug and play mics which makes the mic not sound as great while the condenser mic costs more but sounds more professional to an audiophile. You will also need a monitor that can range from about $100 being an IPS monitor or a $200 144Hz monitor. You can get an IPS monitor such as the AOC2267FW for $100 and the cheapest 144Hz monitor I found was about $200 such as the Acer GN246HL which is what I use and it's amazing. So the difference between an IPS monitor and a 144Hz monitor is that an IPS monitor is a lot more accurate with colors and makes everything look better, while a 144Hz monitor is for people that get over 120 frames and want smooth, fast paced gameplay with less color accuracy. If you want to do face cam videos then you will also need a camera such as the Logitech HD Pro Webcam C920, it goes for about $60. I hope you guys are more informed on how to make the right equipment for a good YouTube channel. I also want to thank Thunder so much for letting me upload on his channel and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Aranias Orion and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.